guys, what's up? I hope you're having a super awesome day. Today I'm going to talk more about my transition from nursing to pre-med. Um, I am developing a cold so I sound a little nasally so I'm sorry, but yeah, the last video I basically announced that I was dropping out of nursing school and now I just kind of want to talk about now what's happening with my school life. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. If you don't know, nursing and pre-med, um, although nurses and doctors work fairly close in the hospital and, you know, in healthcare in general, um, the requirements for them and the education on them are completely different. So, um... Basically, when I met with the pre-med counselor, none of my nursing classes were going to be able to be transferred over to my pre-med, obviously. Um, so, in the end of it, she offered me a couple different options um, as to what major I can do, because the concentration is pre-med, but I need to have a major to go along with it. Basically, the problem was that I needed to pick a major to go along with my concentration. So there are a bunch of different options. She offered biology, she offered psychology, and then there was like a general health education. And I would say the name of that basic health degree, but it would say what school I go to, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, basically it was just like a general health degree. So I decided to think of it not in terms of what's gonna get me done the quickest, but in terms of what am I gonna get the most education out of and what's gonna make me more versatile. So if you didn't know, previously my minor was already in psychology, so I already have um, a fairly good amount of psychology classes. So I kind of thought about doing psychology for a minute, but then I was like, no, because on the MCAT, there's four different categories. One of the categories is psychology. So it's good that I have those classes, but I want to be more versatile and I want to be able to cover the other three, the other three categories, if that makes sense. So I decided to end up going with biology with a minor in psychology and a concentration in pre-med. And the reason why I did that is because, like I said, I think that's going to make me more versatile. I think that's going to set me up for more success on the MCAT. And yeah, it's not the fastest one, um, but I think it's the right one for me. So basically, to get my minor, all I would have to do is finish one more psychology class. And my other reasoning behind that is I need to have three, well, five recommendations for most med schools, and three of them usually have to be science teachers. So I am already really close with the head of the, psycholo the psychology chair at my school, so I wanted to at least have a minor in that so that I could get her to hopefully write me a recommendation letter, so that was my thinking behind that. And somehow I need to get um, two of my biology teachers to do that. So yeah, basically what ended up happening when I was talking to the lady, um, to the pre-med counselor and we were checking out all the stuff I'm going to have to end up doing, um, it did add a little bit longer than I had anticipated to when I would be graduating with my bachelor's degree, but honestly, it's not anything that's not that's not doable and I am ready to do it all. So I wanna kinda discuss the classes that I'm going to be taking, or I wanna tell you guys the classes I'm gonna be taking. I do have some extra classes that are not necessarily required for my major or for my minor or the concentration. So yeah, anyway, so I'm going to be taking Biodiversity and Ecology Foundations um, and that's obviously going to be for my biology major. Oh, and one more thing, another reason why I chose biology is because I actually have all my electives done for biology because I've taken micro and I've taken AMP 1 and 2, so I would already have that section done if that makes sense. Okay, so, and then I have a pre-calculus class. Um, I am going to have to take calculus, so the reason I'm taking pre-calculus again is because I took it in high school, but I just want to make sure that I have a solid foundation before I take calculus, and I'm hoping that it will boost my GPA and I'll be able to get a 4.0 out of that class because I have already taken it. And then I have the psychology of learning, which should be my last psychology class, and then I have financial accounting. The reason why I'm taking this class is because it is recommended that if you're going to med school to take um, business classes because if you want to open your own business eventually and all that jazz, it's good to have that education behind me and 
Honestly, I'm kind of selfish when it comes to my education and I want to be as educated as possible in all different areas. So I just decided why not, I'm gonna take that class. And then lastly, I have a Making Ireland and Scotland Healthy. Now that class is actually a travel abroad class. We go to Scotland and Ireland over spring break and we just kind of learn about different healthcare. That's not like a super hard class. It's just kind of built in there because I wanted to go on that trip. So yeah, those are the classes I'm taking. Classes start tomorrow, so I'm a little nervous. Um, obviously, a big thing that I mentioned before is just not knowing anybody in my classes. And part of me is super excited to meet people, but part of me is super scared at the same time. Um, sometimes I get really like, I don't even know the word, but just like, oh, like I want to just pull myself in when I'm around new people because I get so self-conscious and I don't know, it's so stupid, but I need to get over that. Like I said, one of my goals this year is to put myself out there. So I'm going to try so hard not to withdraw myself um, because I'm scared of judgment. So yeah. Also, I wanted to address a couple of things that were said on my uh, my last video about switching to pre-med. I don't think people know this, or I mean, you might not care, but I read every single comment and uh, I delete the mean ones, uh, mainly because I don't want to spread negativity and I don't want negativity on my channel. So I do read some of them and some people are not very nice and <laughs> that's okay, but a lot of you were super kind and I really appreciate that. I'm really excited for this change. It's something that, like I said, I've always wanted to do. I've just never taken the initiative or allowed myself to do it and not let people hold me back. So yeah. So one of the comments that I saw was asking me why I didn't just finish my nursing at BSN degree and then go on to med school and I think I kind of like briefly touched on it in that video but I probably didn't explain it as well. So in the nursing program I work my butt off and um, the thing is it becomes really draining when you're doing something and studying so hard but not doing what you want to do. I think the main thing is that program is not was not making me happy and nursing is super awesome and um i probably would have still kind of enjoyed doing it but the thing is i want to go to med school so i need to set myself in the best position possible to look the best for the med schools when i go to interviews and things like that um i want to i want to look the best like i want to stand out from people and yeah, so that's why I'm taking the other route. And honestly, it's only going to be a year longer to finish with the biology minor in psychology and constitution pre-med than finishing with my BSN. And honestly, it's worth it for me. Um, some of you might not see it that way, but it's worth it for me. And I think it's the smartest way. So as for the MCAT, I am already starting to study for that. I got my, it was like a bundle of five, four books? four or five books that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to just be looking at it whenever I have time because as you may know, a lot of people take off for off um, after they graduate with their um, bachelor's degree, they take off a year or six months to study for the MCAT, get their interviews done and all that kind of ju junk. <laughs> but I don't want to take off that long. So I'm hoping that if I prepare well enough, I won't need to take off a full year. Um, I will be graduating hopefully in a spring semester. So I'm hoping to be able just to take the, I have to look at the dates and all that stuff, but to be able to take the MCAT and get a good score within a good amount of time. So we are working on that. I am going to start looking for med schools that I wanna be applying to really shortly because um, it's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to deal with. I'm obviously going to have to move out of my house and um, I have dogs, so I gotta be prepared for that. Um, yeah, I got some time, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, so I just wanted to update you, I'm doing I got my I got my ducks in a row for right now. Um, oh, I did apply to another school to take calculus over the summer because my school does not offer that, so I'm hoping that will work out for me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. And until next time, bye.